flows relaxed awareness usually if you are very relaxed totally relaxed in that moment you will be unconscious almost asleep like in front of the television for example or dozing off while taking a sun bath at the beach alternatively when you are paying attention you are tense literally at tension in meditation in moments of being aware these two seemingly opposite states meet so you are conscious and yet completely relaxed for example right now if you continue to read or listening to this overflow allow your awareness to gently glide to your breathing you are not changing your breathing in any way but just being aware of it you know how to breathe you have done a lot of it in your time so you do not need to think about it you do not need to bring in your mind at all as you observe from inside the breath moving in and out of your body and i am not talking about focusing or concentrating but about a soft very laid back kind of observing a passive internal watching even more passive than looking that is all there is to it we have we all have a very close or intimate relationship to the problems that we are facing at a particular moment or face this leads to change in order to solve the problem your understanding has to transcend beyond the level when the problem was created or came into each problem is created or arises with a certain level of thinking at the moment <coughs> when the problem breeds in you did not really understand <coughs> what the other was saying or meant or what the situation demanded there was a complete lack of understanding this understanding or level of cognizance allowed the problem to come in the problem is conceived and now you established a deep relationship with that problem as if this problem is your own child each problem comes in as your own mental offspring you conceived it first developed a deep affinity with it and you went on nurturing this problem from infancy to its full growth you have conceived it nourished and nurtured it to grow to unmanageable proportions and now you complain out of ignorance your so called s9 wisdom that the other has created this problem in your life this is quite common you blame the other for your lack of understanding of the whole situation such is the situation with each one of us in relation to problems we face in life on a day to day basis to solve that problem your level of understanding has to change you have to witness the problem 
standing apart, away from the problem. This requires consciousness. Now problem remains as a circumference without any center. You cannot use the center to draw any other circumference. This requires consciousness. Now problem remains as a circumference without the center. Means you have no egocentric identity which was centering has become the center for circumference to be created. It is no more your problem now because problem arises because of your egocentric identities and different circumferences are created. Means you view the problem from different angles. It is no more your problem now. There is a gap between problem and you. An insight comes in. This change in the level of understanding or insight is the permanent basis for transformation. When this happens, your process of transformation has begun. Albert Einstein has said the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we are at when, the pro when we created them. Albert Einstein is reported to have said the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. One characteristic of the mind, as Albert points out, is that it manufactures complexities and difficulties all arising out of egocentric identities and understanding emerging out of that. It is because of the egocentric identities your understanding evolves. For example, you might think, how is this illness going to progress? Will I make it? This not knowing is so scary. I hate being out of control and that is already bothering me now. How will it be further down? How will it be further down the line? What if people take advantage of me? Where will my dignity be? Anyone who has been, it has probably had the similar thoughts. Just tackling them through thinking that is at the same level only complicates the situation, complicates the issue. If your level of understanding has not changed, then this will happen and that will complicate the situation further. Instead, simply notice such thoughts whenever they come up without condemning them or yourself for having them, do not engage with them but only observe them. When the problem is there, floating within your mind, we establish a relationship with them. Instead, consider yourself separate from the problem as if this problem is not you. 
as the watcher on the bank observing the steams stream pass by then as jidu krishnamurti says explains the problem has quite a different significance which means there is no longer identification with the problem and therefore there is no judgment <coughs> and hence the problem begins to reveal its content the problem becomes complicated the moment you establish a subtle connection with it identification the moment there is no longer identification you are just watching it as standing on the shore you watch the stream pass by with no identification with the problem and therefore no judgment and hence the problem begins to reveal its contents normally we identify ourselves with the problem and not only that because of that we start making our judgments about the situation and the person in question if you do that constantly continuously then every problem can be solved fundamentally not superficially in in fact it can turn out that the problems we tussle with do not need any solving we just need to change our relationship to them the remembrance that we are not our thoughts they are separate from us and as transients as floats some on the river a piece of log floating on the river this will help us and let us let them move by it is our holding on to them not their leaping out of the river into our laps that creates the trouble normally it happens the problem is like a floating on the surface of a river like a log that has come that is not part of the river but it has come in from somewhere and now floating and it has now leaped and has come into your lap and that creates the entire trouble observing the problem is standing aloof from them as if you are standing on the shore of the river and watch the stream pass by or the floatsome floating on the surface and passes in front of your eyes enough for now